A Furnace Story, Chapter 1 Once Upon a Frosty Eve Once upon a frosty eve, as the icy tendrils of frost stealthily claimed the landscape, within the well-loved snow-draped hamlet of Jericho stood a dwelling of no small repute. Known simply and solemnly as Jericho, this home shone as a beacon against the encroaching cold. Celebrated not for grandeur in height or architectural splendor, but for the warmth and luminescence it generously bestowed upon the township. This abode, which called forth travelers from the grip of winter, boasted of its hearth warmed by the famed Edon Furnace. Yes, that very furnace to which you could reverently refer as LTD. It offered a haven of warmth and joviality amid the frost's cruel embrace. Yet, within this idyllic sanctuary lay something far more remarkable than the renowned warmth or even the love and grace it radiated. Deep within its very foundations rested a mystery, a secret weaving itself into the essence of Jericho. This was no tale of hidden treasures or ethereal specters, but a riddle that burrowed into the soul of the dwelling. Beyond the merry twinkling of Christmas decorations that danced their way down the corridors to the heart of Jericho, there existed a room most extraordinary. Within this flawless sanctum resided the true champions of our tale, exuding tranquil valor. These were not the fabled heroes of ancient lore or whimsical figures from fantastical quests. Rather, they were the noble, unsung guardians in both prose and verse, the venerable Lieutenant Commander HSI and his stalwart legion. HSI, along with his assembly comprised of cogs, wires, and unyielding resolve, stood not merely as caretakers, but as vigilant sentinels of Jericho's solace and warmth. As champions against the frost, they ensured that the siege of coal did not extinguish the hearth's enduring flame. Their chronicle was one of unity, fortitude, and the unseen bonds that weave the essence of life, transforming the mundane into realms of the extraordinary. Under their watchful stewardship, Jericho stood not just as a house, but as a fortress against the frost a beacon of hope amidst the winter's relentless assault. The Foe Attacks In that veiled heart of Jericho, beneath the ancient blanket of snow that crowns this venerable abode, the room with the furnace emerges as a steadfast bastion against the advancing cold. Outside, the world recoils, driven back by the might of the chilling onslaught, as if ensnared in an unending winter's embrace. The cold, an enemy as relentless as the night, launches its assault with a silent, stubborn vehemence. This frigid spectre advances, its presence heralded by the vigilant weather stripping that stands as sentinels at the windows, marking the boundary between the warmth of the hearth and the icy desolation without. From this stronghold of resistance, a war cry resounds. Calling upon the warm guardians to defend their cherished hearth, the cry, to heat, to heat, stand to, rings out, as inevitable as a call to arms against the relentless frost. Upon hearing this summons, Commander Honeywell, the revered defense commander of Jericho, springs to action. With the poise of a seasoned strategist, he marshals his forces, readying them to mount a counter-offensive against the fierce cold that looms from the north. His command, a directive woven into the very fabric of the dwelling, galvanizes the mighty engines of the heat shield. Thus, the stage is set within the furnace room, a theater of war where the battle against the frost rages with fervor. Here, amidst the roar of flames and the steadfast hum of machinery, the true metal of Jericho's guardians will be tested as they face the chilling foe head-on, their unity and fortitude shining like beacons in the winter's dark. Commander HSI speaks. 
Gentle parts, lend me your ears. Burners 1 and 2. Let not thine focus be snatched by diversion, proclaimed HSI, with an authority that seemed to echo through the ages, as if invoking the ancient craftsmen who had forged the very furnace they now guarded. Hearken unto me! The minions of frost, those ancient adversaries foretold by the sages of old, encroach upon our realm, casting their frigid shadows over our land. Tis upon us now to repel this biting chill. Lieutenant Board, lead thou our vanguard. Sergeant Blower Motor, secure his flank. Together we shall kindle warmth amidst the heart of cold. Art we understood? A resounding chorus of Yes, sir, echoed through the metallic confines of the insulated furnace room. The sudden call to arms had each part, from Captain Capacitor, Petty Officer Flame Sensor, to Sergeant Pressure Switch, hastening to their battle stations, each bearing the weight of their ancestral duties. To arms! The hour for valor hath arrived! The cry rallied them as Sergeant Inducer Motor, descendant of the first line of fire keepers, sprang to life. His spirit, a beacon of steadfast power, stirred the air, breathing life into the firebox to purge the loathsome carbon monoxide into the night. Sergeant Pressure Switch, ever vigilant and steadfast, counseled with the composure of ages past. Steady as she goes, Inducer, our path is clear, and no fault lies within our stars, his voice resonating with the calm of centuries of guardianship. As the furnace stirred to life, Commander HSI began to emit a vibrant hot orange glow, standing as a bold testament to his fiery heart. Outside, an army of cold particles, akin to the horde of chill undead chronicled in the ancient scrolls of Jericho, advanced against the fortifications, vainly striving to quench the warmth that shielded Jericho. From his command post, Commander Honeywell sought to penetrate the heat of battle, calling forth, Commander HSI, report your status. Commander HSI, whose focus remained unshaken by the sudden summons, continued his vigil with unyielding dedication to the mission's success. The call from Commander Honeywell went unanswered, with only Lieutenant Board relaying the process determination that prevailed. Onward, Sergeant Gas Valve, commanded HSI, his directive cutting through the tumult with the authority of command. Sergeant Gas Valve responded, At your command, sir. He then masterfully controlled the flow of natural gas, a delicate balance between urgency and caution ensuring the gas was introduced according to the traditional methods. And then, with a resounding whoomp, the gas met the hot surface igniter, igniting a fierce blaze that eagerly filled the firebox. In such moments, always a cause for celebration. Even an old battle-hardened lieutenant commander could not help but reveal a sly smirk. Petty Officer Flame Sensor declared, a splendid flame burns tonight, sir. Do inform Lieutenant Board, directed the hot surface igniter to flame sensor. Right away, sir, a signal to him shall be sent. As the grip of the winter chill tightened beneath their home, the Scopes family bustled with preparations for a Christmas vacation. The air is decidedly brisk today, Lady Scope observed while arranging her travel attire. Do not fret, my dear, Sir Scope reassured her his hands adjusting Commander Honeywell, the family thermostat. The furnace has been ignited. You shall feel warm soon, my beloved. From his place on the wall, Commander Honeywell communicated directly with Commander HSI at the furnace. Commander HSI, report on my warm air supply, please. Commander HSI, overseeing the ignition process, responded confidently. It is en route as we speak, Commander. Sergeant Blower Motor, tasked with circulating the warm air, was running through his system checks. Captain Capacitor, eager to get things moving, urged him, We've got to get a move on, Sergeant. Finishing his checks, Sergeant Blower Motor replied, Yes, sir, all systems are operational. We are good to go. Then let us dispatch the winds of warmth forthwith. With that command, 
Sergeant Blower Motor sprang to life, sending a vigorous current of warm air through the vents. Lieutenant Control Board communicated with HSI. Do you receive me? Loud and clear, Board. What is our effectiveness? We are maintaining control, sir. The air regiments stand robust. HSI, reassured, instructed. Consult Commander Honeywell and keep me informed. Yes, sir, replied the lieutenant. Over time, the battle force of warm air began to overpower the stubborn chill. The furnace continued to pump out warm air to replenish the ranks of those hot air particles that had fallen in combat. Sensing victory, Commander Honeywell responded, Victory is within our grasp. The heated air soldiers march strong. Lieutenant Commander HSI checked in with Commander Honeywell. Sir, what is our status? You're turning the tide, Commander. Keep it up. Oh, how little recognition is ever paid to those unsung heroes among the ranks of superheated battalions. For their fight is one that could have epic songs written about it, such as Anthem of the Superheated Air, Song, Rising from the Furnace Deep, The Superheated Air Sweeps, Silent Through the Hidden Ways, Banishing the Winter's Freeze, Soar High, Heroes of Heat, Through Shadowed Ducts You Roam, Carrying Warmth in Every Beat, Filling Every Heart and Home. Unseen warriors of the warm, your tale of heat, a silent storm. In every gust you transform, cold retreats where you perform. Yes, many songs could be written about the valor of the superheated battalion. But like their compatriots, their story is not one of showboating, but of teamwork. Their steadfast devotion to the mission at hand, which is to defeat the cold and protect what is under their care, is their true legacy, HSI declared emphatically to his parts. His voice carried a robust and invigorating tone, inspiring every component of the system. We fight this war not for glory, but to protect those we serve from the clutches of the cold. Onward, induce a motor, onward, blow a motor, onward, gas valve, keep sensing, Flame sensor, you're executing the manufacturer's bidding. Sergeant pressure switch, keep up the battle, my brave parts. His words echoed through the vents and pipes, charging each part with renewed purpose and vigor. Commander Honeywell, with a heart full of victory, called down to Lieutenant Commander HSI and his mates, his voice saturated with jubilation. You've done well, my brave compatriots. A shout of joy echoed throughout Jericho's Eden furnace. However, a terrible truth was about to unfold, one that would forever change the dynamics of this furnace's operation. Unknown to Lieutenant Commander HSI and his valiant band of furnace guardians, their respected and beloved leader, full commander, Navy Honeywell, was on the brink of facing grave consequences from the affair. Amidst the shadows of their victory, the wounded commander would succumb to a fatal injury hours later. A rogue particle of cold, the harbinger of Frost's malice, had infiltrated the sanctum and struck Commander Honeywell during the battle. The damage was severe, as its destructive power penetrated deeply into Honeywell's core critically compromising the integrity of his system. Commander Honeywell had valiantly defended the home known as Jericho for over a decade. Perhaps it was those memories that flooded his thoughts as he began to lose power. Or maybe it was the satisfaction of knowing that he had fought the good fight, not through his own efforts, but through the makers who had manufactured him. Regardless, Commander Honeywell would soon hear the saying that all faithful parts long to hear. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Next episode of A Furnace Story. Chapter 2. A New Command. Prepare for the arrival of Jericho's new commander, a figure shrouded in mystery and controversy.
What challenges will this change bring to our furnace ranks? Join us as we unveil the twists and turns in the next chapter of our furnace saga. If you're captivated by our tale, please leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe for more updates. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to never miss a chapter in our ongoing story.